And there this track of pocket snakes again. I'm just looking at the how the lay is. I'm trying to keep this little I move this ball down and kind of goop it up and this is rawhide cream that I'm just trying to use to help keep it seeding. And then I take just a touch of it and add it down here. And so it's a real simple bolo tie, but making it out of rawhide is kind of a first for me. I've spent a lot of time figuring out how to split the rawhide and bevel the rawhide. And how stiff should it be to plat? What's the temper like? So a useful tip is that may help you if you're starting out and don't know anything about it is it seems to me, because I took a humostat and stuck in with the rawhide, it seemed to be about ready after it stabilized its uh, about 70% humidity, relative humidity in the bag. It's just black plastic trash bag that it was in before I split it down and it was about right for the temper. And since my room is typically at 6% humidity, that uh, could be a problem. So it dries faster than you want it to. And if you think leather work takes patience, this stuff takes a lot more. But I have a lot of patience. And I like making things from scratch. And it's not much better to make stuff from scratch than to be playing around with rawhide. I don't know that I want to do a lot of this type of work, but you can see that my gotcha is pretty close. One thing I like about it is I'm not afraid of breaking the strands at 30 or 40 pounds, which if this was just cow hide instead of cow raw hide, I'd be worried about it, especially at one millimeter. Not sure how I'm going to roll this when I'm done. But I'll see if I can roll it on some granite or something. Although not on the countertop. Because the countertop probably would suck up all this oil. And again, this is spun twine. It's goat, goat rawhide that I spun to create a core. It's twine. I spun that in a previous video. And I didn't want to cut the cowhide down thinner than a millimeter to, to spin it. So the goat rawhide didn't have to be split to make a two millimeter cord for the core. I hope that something in my videos helps you decide to explore or decide not to explore whatever it is you want to play with. But I don't do a lot of video editing because I think it's important to see as people are trying to learn something, how they screw up and fix things and how they figure stuff. So, an art to not flipping, especially when you have almost square rectangular strands. 
to keeping the flesh side on the inside. Same goes with leather, but it's a lot easier with leather to not get the strand upside down. And if your eyesight's better than mine, you can just look at it and see the, you guys can probably see as the light shines off the skin side and it's dull on the back side, and I can I can see that just fine. My eyesight's better than average, but it's not what it used to be. And so I braid barehanded because I can feel the rough flesh side of what I'm braiding. And it's what I'm used to using, not my eyes. Usually I'll sit and listen to some music or something like that, but I don't want the video to get taken down just because I'm listening to the radio. And I don't really like TV. So. Anyway, not sure how long the camera is going to stay on this time, but I probably bored half the audience to death at this point, if not more than half the audience. And those people that are interested can watch the rest of the little videos as you go. I mean, I'm just sharing with the world what I'm doing for my learning process, trying to understand rawhide, not knowing a thing about it except for I did watch a couple videos to see what the temper was like to you know, for sizing and cutting it. And then I discovered I really needed to wet stretch what I was doing. So this really thin lace has been stretched about four times over the, the course of doing and sizing it and everything else. And casing your leather, or tempering your rawhide I think is more important for the end product than in some of the plaiting. You know, you got to get the plaiting right, but that's the easy part. Starting with perfect string or perfect or as close to perfect of string as you can is the most important thing. Well, I got you saying that the cord is stretching just a touch. So, I'm going to go ahead and tension it. Don't jerk, just whenever you're tensioning stuff, pull until it stops moving. Don't jerk on the strands, just 